Probably the most uh, popular argument and question I ever get is who designed the designer? Uh, the assumption is that this is a real stumper for the design theorists, but it really uh, just clouds several confusions. First of all, you can tell if something's designed uh, without knowing anything about who designed it, when it was designed, how it was designed. If you dropped into South Dakota and saw Mount Rushmore, for instance, you might know nothing about its origins, about the engineers and the sculptors that created it, but you could tell it was designed by its effects, by the specific patterns and complexity that it exhibits. This is how we always detect design. We don't see design by peering into intelligent agents directly. We see the activities of intelligent agency by its effects, and then we infer to an intelligent cause. And so we can tell if something is designed, whether it's a human artifact or in biology, without knowing where the designer himself or herself or itself came from. That's a secondary question. We can detect the activities of an intelligence, whether we have any answer for the secondary question of the origin of the designer. Secondarily, though, when you get to design in cosmology and physics, now you're talking about uh, the design of the universe as a whole. And so then you get into wider philosophical questions about uh, what is the best candidate for ultimate explanation. Everyone is going to have a stopping point of explanation. It's not as if uh, you can allow an, a regress of infinite uh, explanations all the way back, no matter what your view is. If you're a materialist, you want to say the ultimate explanation is matter. Uh, if you're a design theorist or if you're a wider theist, you're going to say someone like God is the ultimate explanation. Everyone gets a stopping point of explanation. So the only question at that level is, what is the best candidate for ultimate explanation? Well, what we discovered in the 20th century is that the material universe had a beginning in the finite past. So matter is now a crummy candidate for ultimate explanation. That leaves intelligence standing.